What up? It's your boy Striker back with another video. Wanted to give you the top five things I love about this bike. Kind of funny, the other day I put up a video, three things I hate about this bike, and I forgot the thing I hate the most about this bike. <laughs> uh, so just a tag on from yesterday, the number one thing I just hate about this bike it's the fact that they neuter it stock. Now don't get me wrong, I understand. But I wish it wasn't like that. <laughs> wish they didn't have to do it and I hope it wasn't that way. But <clears throat> that is the number one thing I hate about this bike. It peaks at about 11, th 11 three. And that's about it after I heard after 1300 RPMs it falls on its face I'm not really sure yet because I'm still in braking miles so I'm not revving the piss out of it but we're gonna find out Ugh, just a shame I saw them dyno it and it ended up dynoing out at 165 was the best they got out of it yuck I go, I look up the stock HP for this bike on Google, 200. So hopefully it's 200 after a flash and it's all, you know, unrestricted and, you know, the curve is all smoothed out and everything's running perfectly like it should be. And whenever that flash will come out, I've been made aware of by a good man. I don't know. He said he's gonna keep me updated and I will have to wait for him to do so or just keep looking up myself and waiting because you gotta get a flash and you gotta get this thing unrestricted. This is kind of not doing it justice. But on to the video, sorry for just running my mouth. <clears throat> Top five things. So first and foremost, I have to shout out one of my favorite things about this bike and the thing I pretty much mentioned the most the front end oh, I can't get enough of this thing I'm telling you it really looks like somebody took a bottle broke it over like a building and was like hey I'll cut you <laughs> it's so aggressive it looks great don't know whose idea it was but give that man a beer and some other things if you know what I mean anyways so uh yeah, what else? I would have to go with the quick shifter, number two. Kawasaki quick shifter is ridiculous on this thing. It's really buttery smooth. It's not jerky or, you know, I've heard that, uh, well, I've actually felt that some of my quick shifters, like I put in a Dynojack quick shifter on the Busa and it just didn't work right. It felt really jerky and didn't feel good but this one's smooth and it feels exactly how it should just easy and like it's meant to do it number three uh, I would have to go with how much confidence this bike gives you in corners you know I have the 07 over here and I've ridden the 07 for at least I'd say a season and it definitely doesn't give you the confidence this thing does. I mean, just, I hate to say it again, but it's so true, buttery smooth in the corners. It makes you almost just want to hang off the bike like you feel like you're a pro. Obviously I'm not, but it definitely gives you that kind of confidence right off the bat. Just heading into a turn and you pull it over and it almost effortlessly goes as low as you feel like it going. That throttle makes it really easy for you to control the bike, and it just, it loves corners. What can I say? Okay, so four. Hmm. I have to go with that display. It's gorgeous. I don't have the keys on me. I should not have done the video without letting you guys see the display, but check out my uh, video on gauges and display, or gauges and modes, should I say. And you can check it out. 
but it looks great kind of futuristic definitely up to date and it's really easy menus are very easy to get through I didn't look at the book to figure it out I didn't look it up to figure it out the only thing I had to look up was how to get into the menu which is hold the select button for those of you that don't know all right number five and the last thing I love about this bike hmm you know I'm winging this because I don't like to sit down and like think about what do I really, really love about this bike. You know, I got to just say, the tires are pretty nice, but the brakes are what really give you the confidence when you need it. The braking of the 07 is just... Mm. It's decent, but it's not great. With the Brimbos in there, they really do their job right. You get stopped in an instant, and it feels comfortable and not, well, like I said before, jerky. So yeah, those uh, brakes definitely are sweet. But there you have it. Top five things I love about this ZX-10. I'm just happy to have a new bike. What can I say? I mean, anybody would. But if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Please, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.